This tutorial will give you a better understanding of how timesheets work in Paymo. In the previous one, we've covered how to add time using various methods. This one, though, will focus more on how to manage those time entries. The timesheets area is quite simple. It resembles a calendar that displays past time, with bulk time entries at the top, those are time entries for a particular day without start and end dates, and those with a timestamp on the calendar timeline. Time entry cards show the track time for a task, project and client, who made it, the date, timestamp, along with an icon to know whether it was added via form or via stopwatch. You can also edit the time entry to include time entry notes or view its full task details if you want to make further changes at the task level. There are five timesheet views to help you oversee time entries depending on the preferred context. The Active Timers view displays all running timers in parallel at the company level. This comes in handy for managers and remote teams. The Daily, Weekly and Monthly views display the total track time on a daily, weekly and monthly view, while the Agenda view acts more like a spreadsheet with time entries ordered one after the other on separate line items. You can group them after a set of predefined filters or Toggle the Add Filters drop-down for additional ones. Let's move on to the timesheet settings. You can choose between a compact or comfortable layout to visually enlarge 15 minutes time cards and see more time entries at the same time, how long the snap interval should be when you click and drag on the timesheet to add a time entry, and whether to show the project or the task name first on a time entry card. The first option is more useful when you manage a lot of projects, the last one when you manage fewer ones. Another valuable feature is the folded versus unfolded setting in the upper left corner. The format that we're currently on, unfolded, displays all time entries in the order of their addition, counting in breaks too. The folded format, on the other hand, ignores the breaks in between time entries and displays them one after the other. This proves valuable when you're a project manager that only wants to monitor time entries at a glance. That's about it with timesheets. In our next tutorial, we'll cover how to turn them into an invoice in just a few clicks.